let's go into up for debate. Uh, Alexis, this week you asked not in comparison to the Minnesota Wild, but just in general, which team, as you just now put it, a word <laughs> that you probably made up that we're not sure of. I didn't um, make it up, I swear. Go ahead, go ahead. <laughs> Tell people how you just phrased it to Fred and I this okay. up for debate. So the up for debate was which team in the West is a paper tiger, St. Louis, Colorado, or Calgary. And Jesse and Fred said they've never heard the phrase paper tiger no. before. And we're old. We've been around. <laughs> all right. This is never, this is not a, this is not a thing. So they're asking me to explain it. And now I need you guys to let us know if you've heard it. Cause now I'm like guessing everything I've ever known in my life ever, but paper tiger, how I've heard it described is like a team that looks scarier on paper, like stats wise than like what they actually are in true competition. So basically in other words, which team do you think is, you know, in a good standing right now, but maybe won't go far in the playoffs is I guess all that, that I'm saying, and not in comparison to the wild, just in general, which team do you think isn't as scary as they look? Jesse, do you, uh, between those three teams, does one of them stand out as maybe not as tough a competition as people think right now? I'm still trying to wrap my head around the paper tiger, <laughs> but, uh, yeah, I'm thinking of like an origami way that I can make you a paper tiger for the next time I see you. Um, I, Ooh, I'm between the or none of them maybe, maybe none of them are. no i mean i think i'm i think the flames look scarier than they are but i'm also going to say the unpopular i think the abs sometimes look scarier than they can be darcy kemper certainly has turned it up i know everybody's mm-hmm. been hard on him saying that's their crux um i don't i'm not as intimidated by the abs i think as minnesota wild fans are i just am not um the flames similarly i think they're just they're crushing it i haven't seen a whole lot. Obviously you go back to the, the two games you saw against Minnesota didn't look great, but those are my two. It's hard for me to choose just one. So I want to choose. Cause I think they're very similar in the, in the way that yeah. they play in their goal score. I mean, it's a, those are hot, hot offenses mm-hmm. and that's kind of it. I mean, aside from Kale McCarr in, and for Colorado, for the defense, I just, I feel those two are my paper tigers. Plus the flames are paper tiger colors. So there you go. Okay. That's fair. Good, good yeah. reasoning. Thank um, you. <laughs> I'm going to go with Colorado. I tweeted this like a week or so ago. I said, they're the hot girl with no personality. Um, and, <laughs> um, for also me, not a thing people say. <laughs> <laughs> yes, they do. You're lying now. You're just lying. Um, no, for me, Colorado, they're a very good team. Don't get me wrong. Obviously, they have surged to the stop to, to the top of the central division. They uh, just last night with their win um got the most, I think, points or either points or wins in their history. Um, mm-hmm. so they're they're a very good hockey team, and I'm not trying to deny that. But to me, in playoff hockey the teams that I think survive the most are the ones who are able to be versatile and mold to their surroundings, mold to their opponent and shift their game. I think when you're stubborn with your style of hockey and say either, Hey, we're a team about speed or we're a team about grit. And you don't change that over the course of the playoffs to adjust to any given game or opponent. I think those teams struggle. And to me, the Colorado avalanche are one of those teams where they are a team about speed and scoring and they don't have a backup game plan. So if you can throw them off their game, if you can make them play your kind of hockey, they struggle with that. They don't like to, I mean, and they'll get, I mean, they're kind of team who gets frustrated when they can't play the kind of hockey that they like, and you can throw them off their game. And so I think that when the flames are playing their best hockey and they make other teams play like them, they're very hard to beat. But if you can play, make them play your hockey, the flame struggle or the uh, abs struggle with that, excuse me. So I really think to me, the abs of the three are the biggest paper tiger. Um, but again, it depends on the opponent, depends on a lot of things, but that's what I would say. I agree with you, Jesse. I think they scare me a lot less than some of the other teams in the West right now. Yeah, no, I, I don't disagree. What did you guys think? What was the fans reaction? Um, uh, I think I don't even remember. There was a few people who said, I think flames and abs were the most voted for, if I remember correctly. Mm-hmm. Um, but yeah, I, I think there's a lot of people who actually agree with us, Jesse, from what I've seen, at least in the last Yeah, you do. And- you guys are learning. We yes. know, we know. Um, a lot of people think the abs are maybe not as scary so we'll see we we might be eating our words in in two weeks but who knows